Hello everyone, this is the Prussian Prince. Finally with a Total War Warhammer tournament uh, match here. This is the Beta Flash tournament number 98, the first Warhammer tournament hosted by Achilles. Hey! Yay! Woohoo! First tournament for Warhammer and hosted by Agony. So proud. <laughs> so well, proud. Achilles. Exactly. <laughs> not Agony, but actually speaking of Agony, it is currently Round three, which is yes. the top eight in the tournament, and we have uh... the quarter. Well, no, this is not the top eight. We have we're at the top sixteen. My it's bad. Top sixteen. Yeah, yes. and it's Musculus against the IDs Simon. We have uh, Empire for I believe was it Simon who picked Musculus. Empire? Oh no, Musculus, Musculus went Empire, and uh, we have uh, Britonia for uh, Musculus. No, not Musculus for Simon. See, it's so confusing because it doesn't actually say the names of players anymore. I don't know why they changed that when you hover over units. That All is right. uh, quite strange. Since I assume that none of the players are stream cheating at this point in battle, let's go over the armies. Um, well, Prussian Prince, you can go over the uh, Empire army, I guess. Okay, so for Empire, we have... I gotta zoom in real close to see what's happening. <laughs> so I have two Empire Knights on the right flank with a Demigriff. Do Knights, you have halberds? them? Or does Musculus have he them? He has, he has. But I have, <laughs> I mean, I see, whatever. Same thing! Anyway, we have, interestingly enough, a great cannon in the center. So, some siege artillery going on there. We'll see if they're effective. A light wizard, so some uh, spell shenaniganry gonna be happening as well. And we have the... I guess this is Musculus the Fourth, aka the General. Yes. He is, uh... Actually, on a flying Pegasus. Hmm. Interesting. Up front, we have tons of spearmen with shields. I believe these are three, four, five of them. Supported by three of these crossbowmen. And then two regular spearmen in the back. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Of course, two Empire Knights, two Demigrith Knights with halberds in total. So, pretty decent composition for Empire, I should say. Focused on cavalry and uh, spears. We also see a little bit of artillery over here. Um, we haven't seen, like, I don't think we've seen too much artillery in the tournament as of yet. Uh, but Simon has brought some uh, field trebuchets of him, uh, himself. Now for Simon, he's playing as Bretonia. He's got these Pegasus Knights, nice hmm. and steady on the hill, lurking in the back of the Empire. We've got the Knights of the Realm, about three of those. We have a flying monster. Simon, I guess it's, uh, well, it is his mm. general. Uh, we see a wizard. And, yeah. <laughs> in the front of the wizard, we see peasant bowmen. Uh, I think about three of those. And in the front, we have men at arms, spear, spearmen at arms, actually. Hmm. I've never seen, well, I, I certainly have seen those. The, I've never seen the men at arms. Uh, in multiplayer, and I wondered why he ranked him up. But we'll see how this works out. Are they ranked up? They see. are. They have uh, one bronze chevron each. Okay, I can see. <laughs> Does it show on my thing? Probably because he had some money left. Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Alright, so I can't wait before this game starts. Uh, what do you guys think of the map? <laughs> I don't know. There's Teddy, what are your things. thoughts of uh, <laughs> the map? <laughs> I want me to say. <laughs> yes. <laughs> say it, please. Poor choice. Poor choice. <laughs> oh. so that's the nicest I can be. Oh. <laughs> nice. Looks like the game has started. So we can see that the Empire moves up immediately despite having the Great Cannons. And Simon is also moving forward his troops. Um, the good thing about the Empire is that they, they have these cheap spearmen, which can basically be thrown away and he can let do the Demigriff Knights do their work. Yep. But I don't understand the choice of artillery. We do have some shots incoming from Simon. Uh, trying to hit the great cannon. Uh, I think that's a good target, though, because it would be really a waste to 
to fire at the spearman. Hmm. Well, I think it would be. Because we have little to no experience in this game, so yeah, our judgment will not be perfect. <laughs> we no. do not know what is happening. Oh, if he uses this unit at this timing, he will certainly get a cost-efficient trade. <laughs> no, none of us is at that level yet. We do see that um, Simon is keeping his Pegasus Knight steady over there, and he's also flanking around with a Knight of the Realm. And he actually got some decent shots into the uh, into the Great Cannon, the Great Cannon getting some casualties. You know, I don't like that Knights of the Realm flanking maneuver. It's like a single unit, what's it going to do when um, it's up against an Empire Knight and a Spearman? Well, he would lure an Empire Knight away, I guess, from the main army. Even better would be if just a, if, if just a single Demigriff Knight would harass that unit all across that. I don't know. It didn't achieve anything, because as you can see, just moving it back now. <laughs> so yeah. He is moving it back indeed, and Simon setting oh, forward his wizard. He's getting shot at. But didn't lose much HP though. He did a spell. Um, I, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's a vortex spell. Hmm. And it is not really doing a lot of damage, unfortunately. Some more shots into the great cannons. Oh, they're losing men. Some great volleys. Those trebuchets are really paying for themselves. The but we cannons. do see that um, they're actually firing at the Grail Knights, getting an amazing hit over here. So many cavalry died uh, yeah. off the Grail Knights, and I think the Grail Knights are the most cost of, um, the most expensive cav unit of the of Britonia. Yeah, but the Great Cannons will soon die, so... Yeah. The Great Cannons will soon die, indeed. I don't know, like, those Peasant Bowmen are just sitting there, not doing anything. Ooh, oh, and another fair? hit yes. into the Great... Wow, just four men died right here. Wow, that's and Even some left. horror men is die. Oh, damn. 31 men, yeah. <laughs> this unit, I think, costs 1,500 talents. Well, I'm not sure what the, what the current sees it. Uh, the Grail Knights. Oh, okay. I think they cost 1.5 or even 1.6k. I'm not quite sure of that. Are pretty expensive too, though, aren't they? Um, or... I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm not sure, but if if they can uh, if they can take out those Grail Knights, they'll certainly pay for themselves. You see yeah. that Simon is actually changing targets to the Empire Knights. And it's hitting them in the back, so that's gonna do quite a bit of damage. Oh, we have an engagement. Uh, I would imagine. A uh, skirmish engagement. Crossbowmen Between. against these uh, peasant bowmen. Probably crossbowmen may end up winning this engagement, probably. They know. may end up winning this, but oh, oh my god, that spell. Shot. <laughs> One of the cool things with the Empire is that if you bring a light, if you bring a light wizard, <clears throat> and you have uh, some cavalry and the enemy is skirmishing if you actually want to take out the skirmishers you can do a you know that that's spider web spell you can do that on the skirmishers just charge it with cap and get out before the infantry gets there but we can see that as you said that <clears throat> well actually it's still pretty even um one unit of each player did route Although this unit yeah, route, would have been much with better. a significant amount of men left. Would have been much better for Empire though, like if they actually didn't get that spell casted on the unit though. <laughs> yeah. Now the Empire is moving forward. As you can see, Simon is moving in from the back. I think he wants this front to be opened up. We see that the Pegasus Knights are moving in. Or are being moved. Yep. These knights. They even have like Tournament lances. <laughs> tournament lances while in tournament. Yeah. Right weapon for the job. <laughs> right weapon for the job. Oh, here comes the melee the, engagement. Um, hmm. Melee engagement, I think, should go in favor of Simon. I think the Spearman at arms are better, although I'm not quite sure. He is not getting the charge no, off. Actually, this regular Spearman with shields seem to have superior stats. Now that I look at it. Slightly better. I, 
I don't have the stats up, but we do see a spell going off. It is probably a buff spell, I'm not sure. Too bad I can't see all the information at the moment. We see some spells going off. We see the Pegasus Knights uh, attacking these spearmen in the back. And we see the Demigriff Knights actually falling back from, from the men at arms. Do you think they died if they run into spears like that? I'm oh, not sure. Oh, Crossbow is getting attacked by uh, the flying monster thing of Simon, his general. Ooh, crossbowman. Going down. With a calf charge, that is just gonna insta route him. We can see that the demographs are coming in. Simon is gonna pull out, going for a back charge into already wavering spearmen. This is not gonna go well. The charge of the demigraph knights are, is actually blocked, but now the demigraph knights are joining the fray, are going to fight all these Bretonian units that are blocked up. We can see that the Pegasus knights are pulling out. The trebuchet is still firing, but taking some damage. And we see actually a lot of units riding for the Empire so far. Yeah, because the Empire didn't have the general close enough to use the buffs. I think. Now he's coming in. What is flying Pegasus? Yes, we see a lot of action going on from this Pegasus on the flank. Pegasus actually... Are they attacking the... Um, the Demigriff Knights? I think they are. And actually they're, do uh, they're dropping quite... Are they dropping quite fast? No, they're yeah. actually not. The Demigriff Knights are cleaning up there, I think. Doing lots of yes. damage. Already there are. got we have... six kills. Yes, we have some units coming back for the Empire. And the Great Cannon is almost out of ammo, but I'm not sure what it is firing at. Uh, it's probably hitting some targets. We can see that Simon is using his general. is going to land in the back of these spearmen. And actually doing a lot of friendly fire in the process, I think. Is friendly fire a thing? It's a thing, but I don't know if it's a thing with like the general. We can see that the right flank is slowly but surely crumbling. This Knights of the Realm unit has routed, and now Simon's back is open for free back charges from the Empire Knights and the Demi Griff. <laughs> I just can't pronounce it. The yeah, Demi Griff are going to go for rear. But he's still chasing the enemy cab. This isn't good for him. He needs to go for rear charges right now. Yeah, he needs to go for rear charges. He could even take out the, uh, the field trebuchets. Um, not sure what the priorities are at the moment. Uh, we can see that the Pegasus Knights are now taking care of the remaining crossbowmen. Probably going for the artillery as well. And the main engagement seems to seems to be going in the favor of actually the Empire as you, as you predicted. Looks like the Empire Knights are tying up all these cavalry units and now these, uh, this cavalry unit is going to come in and seal the deal. As Same agree. Yes. Uh, Pegasus Knight's going for a rear charge on the right flank of Empire, though. That Spearman is going to go down right now. Mm, still, Demigriff Knight's being unused, sort of like in the center by Empire. He's not really using them at all. Now he is moving them. But, yeah. Mm. But it looks that... It is over for Bretonia. We have units routing. He is losing on all the fronts, uh, except the far, far left over here in the back. I don't know. Uh, uh, but yeah, he not won. sure if he's going to be able to do it. Simon is in some trouble right now. He does have some units left, but I'm not sure if he can deal with these Demigriff knights that are still on the field. Both generals are actually very low in this battle, so if one dies. Might be significant, and one of them did die. No, 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 he's just fleeing. Never one of mind. them A unit is fleeing. Yes, one of them it's is the fleeing. Crossbowman or something. But I think that um, unless all the units come back for Simon, I think that this is going to be game. We have the field trebuchets, they are not in the game anymore. Uh, and actually, the cannons are being harassed as well, so I think both artillery pieces are going to be taken out of the fight. Look, um, Flying that, Pegasus that... chasing the Simon's Ow. gen. You oh, see this? wow. <laughs> I got wrecked. Oh. Did you lose? He had double witch hunter. He sniped my <laughs> necromancer. And my army pretty much died after that. Like, 
done. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna have a nice charge by the Empire Knights into the Men at Arms. This is going to destroy them. With a follow up of Demigriff Knights as well. Look at those Men at Arms! Yeah, man. There's. They're throwing back, they're coming straight up. And actually, he's changing position and actually going for this wavering unit. Smart decision. It's just going to instantly route that unit. Probably those two units uh, of Simon, as they will not be able to deal with these Demigriff Knights. And the Demigriff Knights coming to destroy that last unit of men at arms for Simon. Oh. And there they go into the men at arms. I think overall it is. Well, the game is still going, of course. All the units are very low, but we have these Demigriff. Demigriff, yes, I'm pronouncing it correctly, knights that are just so powerful and have so much left. We see these units shatter, and I don't see it anymore for Simon. Yeah, I think it is game it's over. over. So, has actually defeated Simon. Yes, mm. he is going to the top 16, third round. Uh, top eight, I think. It's mm, no, he's going to be facing Agony Duck. Yeah, it's top eight. Yeah. So yeah, uh, very nice so... job. Let's see the stats. Oh yeah, those Demigriff <laughs> really carried him here. Even the Empire Knights, one of them doing quite well. So Panda Warrior One versus you, Teddy. Hmm. So yeah. All right. Pena Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on social media, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.